Good morning, Greater Lake Show. From the WCAT TV studios, I'm your host, Ramaya Henderson. The 2022 Latrobian Yearbook and Senior Ads are on sale now. Information was emailed to all students and can also be found on the Senior High page of the website. If you order your book before September 15th, you can purchase your book for a discounted rate. After September 15th, the price will increase by $5. Attention all underclassmen, pictures for the 2022 Latrobian Yearbook will be taken on Tuesday, September 14th and Wednesday, September 15th during Lunch and Learn. Please refer to the information on the Senior High page of the district website for more details. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Butler in C101. If you are interested in ordering pictures, you can order online or print from the form and take it to the photographer on picture day. Please do not turn your form into anyone other than the photographer. All freshmen will receive school ID and no charge. 10th and 11th graders, if you would like to order a new ID, you may do so for a $5 charge. We go to McKenna Yetzi for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time for your local weather report. Today we will see a high of 71 with a chance of rain and a low of 51. On Friday, the high is 70 degrees with a low of 51 with a little bit of fog, so make sure you bring a jacket with your beach wear for the Friday's game. Finally, on Saturday, expect sunny skies and a high of 77 and a low of 61. That's all for weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, McKenna. The chess club will have its first meeting this Friday, September 10th during Wildcat time. Come enjoy donuts, orange juice, and chess. The meeting will take place in Ms. Doyle's room, C12. All are welcome. This fall, you can interact with FBI special agents, intelligence analysis, professional staff, special weapons and tactics, bomb techs, and the evidence response team. FBI Teen Academy is, one, is a one-day program for high school seniors to learn about the FBI and what a variety of career paths in the FBI would entail. The program will take place in Pittsburgh, and the deadline to apply is September 10th. Visit the Pittsburgh Community Outreach page at www.fbi.gov to apply. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Emma Centura with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? Cooking up in the mainland are some sweet and sour popcorn chicken, homemade fried rice, and delicious broccoli florets. Heading over to the sandwich line are hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chicken patties. Next, over in the pizza line, there is plain and pepperoni homemade pizza served with three max cheese sticks and pizza sauce. Last but not least, in the salad bar, you can get fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is potato and the vegetable is broccoli florets. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Emma. Do you want to make a difference in your local community? Want to be a part of a national movement across America? Learn to be a greater leader while making a real impact through Chick-fil-A Leader Academy. Join over 18,000 students in 600 other high schools nationwide in a leadership program focused on impact through action. Go to Chick-fil-A Leader Academy .com apply to apply for a sport in Chick-fil-A Leader Academy in your school this year. 30 Greater Lake Trope students in grades 10 through 12 will be selected for the program this year. The deadline to apply is Wednesday, September 15th. Please see Ms. Koss in F202 with any questions or email her at courtney.koss at glsd.us. We now go to Jaden Alessi for the Wildcat Sports Report. Thanks, Matana. Today, the girls' tennis team has a home game against Chisty at 3.30. At 5.30, the girls' soccer team will be facing off against Chisty. The girls' volleyball team will also be looking to beat Oakland Catholic at 7.30. The boys' soccer team will be rounding off the night with a match against Connellsville at 8 o'clock. That's your Wildcat Sports Report. Now here's Lou Tamity with National Sports. Thanks, Jaden. Today in National Sports, eager fans can finally watch some NFL football. For this regular season opener at 8.20 p.m., the Dallas Cowboys head to Raymond James Stadium to battle against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This will be a great game to watch and see if Dak Prescott and his elite offense can compete against the Super Bowl champ champions. Another player to watch is Tom Brady. Going to his 22nd NFL season, fans are excited yet unsure what this 44-year-old quarterback can do this late in his career. Transition to MLB, you can tune in to watch the Colorado Rockies head to Citizens Bank Park to play against the Philadelphia Phillies at 7.05 p.m. That is all for sports. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Luke. The first meeting of the speech and debate team will be on Thursday, September 16th during Wildcat time in H104. The team is open to anyone interested at the meeting, we will discuss the events open to students and how this season works. The Google Classroom code is LR2ELF. Anyone with questions should contact Dr. Bopiani-Smith. 
The following colleges will be in Commons during Lunch and Learn. Seniors, please check your email for an important message from Student Council and respond by Friday, September 10th with your interest in the event. We will be back after this commercial break. We now go to Ariel Tepper with Wildcat World News. Today in headline news, Hurricane Ida is taking a toll on states around the globe. Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, New Jersey, and New York have all experienced major flooding. Besides the hurricane, the U.S. is facing major hurdles while trying to resettle Afghanistan refugees. This is due to the immigration status of many evacuees, limited social resources, and scarce permanent housing for the new arrivals. Lastly, China is buckling down on gaming restrictions for children under 18. This results in only three hours of gaming time per week. Back to you, Ramaya. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.